You're good. Go. Hey, friends. Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. I've got a client with like a 2011 and he's asking about this axle movement. He thinks that it might be too much. I'm going to go over some basics. Said his axle seal went out and it started leaking. But I'm going to start from the beginning. Number one with axles, the gear lube is supposed to be in here. Nobody wants it down here. It shouldn't even be down here. That's why you only fill these things up. Some of them say till the filler hole. Some of them say an inch below the filler hole. Common sense tells you that there's no reason that there needs to be lube right here. That is why very few front axles ever made have any seal whatsoever. This is an early Dodge 94 to 99. We've got a later Dodge over there. There's no reason for a seal to even begin with. And number one, if they didn't want any axle movement whatsoever, there would be a bearing here. Common sense tells you there would be a bearing here just like a rear axle to hold that thing rigid. But there's not. There's not one on any design. Yes. Does a spline hub hold things more rigidly? Of course. It has a great surface area. It's splined and it's nutted down, torqued down. So, it is going to have less movement than a hub style design. You need a little bit of movement. We, it's about 50 or 60 thousandths back and, back and forth. That's what the measurement is. And that's like the initial thrust like you have on a camshaft or a crankshaft. You adjust the end plate, 10, 12, 8 thousandths, whatever, so that that damn thing can move back and forth just a little bit. It needs to be able to move for a different turning RPM. But when this is sitting stationary and you fire it up instantly, well, bam, it starts turning, and anything like that, that vector force shoots it out just a little bit. Once this axle shaft is turning, especially at high speed like the highway, this centers. It can't move just by physical vectors. It stays in a line just like a bullet or like a rod in a lathe. It wants to spin straight. It doesn't really want to have any movement unless it's bent. An arrow wants to shoot straight unless it's bent. So there must be a little bit of movement. Once again, if nobody wanted any movement, there would be bearings here to make sure that there was absolutely no movement whatsoever. And once again, I can only think of two or three actually in the entire planet that have a have a seal here. Are you with, are, are you with me? Because there once again, there's no reason for the fluid to be down here. Yeah. Later, Doc. No bearing, no seal. A Jeep from the 80s. No bearing, no seal. These are little just plastic washers. Keep the mud out. No bearing and no seal. Well, it shouldn't be here. It's supposed to be right there. If you look at this Jeep, the fill hole, the drain plug, is beneath the axle tubes. You fill it up to the filler. That is to keep the fluid from going over here. It typically can't even go down the tubes. 
I hope we're, that we're grasping this concept. If the flu is down there and in here, it shouldn't be out there. So, because we had to replace some little bitty seal on that, on a vehicle, for whatever reason, does not mean that the design is flawed or there's anything wrong. Especially out of 740 kits on the road, uh, yours is the first one and only one reported. That's it.